Having a bike engine in the car obviously means I also have a chain in the car. I did have an o-ring chain, but that snapped when doing a flat out gear change from first to second. So I was advised to buy the chain that the drag racers use, I'm told is virtually indestructible, but it's not an o-ring, so it needs oiling all the time. I had a look at buying one of the commercial automatic chain oilers, but they're about 150 quid, and being tight, I wasn't keen on spending that. So, I decided to try and design my own, and if I was going to do that, do it for under a fiver. reservoir I've used this plastic test tube thing. I got about 10 of them for a fiver on eBay. The tube is the stuff they use for airlines on fish tanks and I've just used heat shrink to seal that to the test tube. The solenoid was also off of eBay. It was a couple of quid. I 3D printed this little thing so that I could pinch up the tube to reduce the flow rate. Put a little Y piece on the end of the tube so as it can deliver oil to both sides of the chain. And to be able to attach the um, chain oil oiler to a bike or in my case the car, um, it's fairly easy to put, I 3D printed a bracket for the little reservoir and 3D printed a, uh, another little bracket for the, um, the solenoid there. Um, but as far as I can see the tricky bit is actually being able to attach the tube that goes down to the little Y piece that will actually drop the um, oil onto the chain. Um, so what I've done is down the middle of the chain I've put a little bit of brazing rod um, so it can be bent and kind of formed into shape. So before I actually attach that I'm just doing a little experiment to make sure that you do get some oil flow down. Um, I just poured in some old engine oil that I had knocking around. So just very, very slowly, the oil is creeping along that tube. And currently, I'm not exactly sure the rate I need the oil to come out of. I mean, my guess is it's going to be a drop every few seconds, maybe a bit longer than that. So that oil is actually now hit the bit with the raising rod on and still seems to be moving down so we might be okay with this. I thought I kept this fairly short but uh, slid down. I've also made a little clamp there to screw in and that will uh, pinch up the pipe if the rate needs to be reduced. Should I make this pipe a bit shorter now? piece it's actually it seems to be virtually spot on the width of the chain if I can get this in position I reckon that little Y is going to work a treat as long as the oil runs down both legs of the Y and I'm, I'm not too sure what I can do about that if it decides that one leg is uh, easier than the other and just drips out of one all. The other thing I did think about is um, having some sort of material pad that sort of rubs against the chain um, and the oil is delivered to the pad that may be something I might have to look at Let's see how it goes with this room first at least it got down as far as the rail junction are we going to see any signs of drops of oil soon? the excitement's unbearable isn't it? Way. 
suspect that it's just dripping out of one, but I said you're probably coming out faster than needed, so you've got to find that. The next job is um, trying to work out the best place to mount the reservoir. Uh, on my car, I've got this big, it's got a um, dry sump, so we've got this big tank here, which is the oil tank, which seemed a really easy place, and it would be the absolutely ideal for us virtually directly directly above the chain oh great the trouble is is that oil tank obviously when you're running the engine the oil gets hot up to you know, kind of 100 odd degrees um, and that I think is going to really affect the viscosity of the oil in the tube which is obviously going to affect the rate it drips down um, so I'm trying to think of somewhere I can mount it where the temperature is going to be a bit more stable um, it could be I just mount it on there with a sort of, um, I don't know how big a space you would need, so 5 or 10 centimetre spacer coming out, um, or even around the side here, uh, down the side of the car, it's probably in a pretty good airflow there to stay cool. Um, I want it fairly close, and obviously the, the sort of straighter run down to the chain, the better, so I think. I'm going to have to experiment, the whole thing's going to be an experiment, I think I'm going to have to put it on there and see how that works out. So I've done a kind of a temporary install, I've gone for the uh, position on the um, oil tank here, which will get quite warm so I'm not too sure how that's going to work out. I've got the uh, solenoid on there, nice sort of route round, I've got the um, pinch thing here so as I can just tighten that up if I need to adjust the flow rate down wiring at the moment I've, I will tidy up obviously in a minute um, and I've spliced into the supply for the fuel pump um, so what this hopefully means is when the engines running and the fuel pumps running we should have a nice little drop of oil drip of oil coming down our little Y piece there onto the chain and when the engine's not running like at the moment nothing comes out so we're not dropping oil everywhere let's see how it goes That's the end of the first part. Uh, the second part, we'll see how it worked out. If you like this sort of stuff and want to see the second part and other projects like this, please subscribe to the channel.